Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, it's Friday night, just finished dinner. It has not been a good food day. I got up this morning, neither one of us felt like cooking or doing anything, so I made the mistake of going to McDonald's and getting McDonald's breakfast. And all it did was give me a big stomach ache. So I felt like shit first half of the day because the food just didn't agree with me. It was horrible. Learned my lesson. Until the next time, because I'm a dumb monkey. I have decided that this weekend is the weekend that I'm actually going to get rid of my gear. So I'm getting rid of both ZV-1s and the Sigma 85 1.4 and the Sony 16-35 to F4. The big deciding factor for getting rid of both ZV-1s, because I was going to keep one, maybe, and I've been using this one this week, the deciding factor was tonight when I went to Buffalo Wild Wings and I specifically took it with me to test it. It failed big time. And how did it fail? Absolutely no autofocus in the Forerunner. It didn't get focused the entire way home until I got back to the shopping centers and had headlights shining on me. Like not, like, all right, it didn't have face, it didn't have eye. It had no focus whatsoever. I could look at the screen and see that everything was blurry. It, it, wasn't even close to getting any kind of focus on anything in the screen. And that pretty much cemented it for me. At this point now, I have gone through several cameras. I have gone through several different lenses. I've gone through different types of shooting, different things that I want to shoot, so on and so forth. And really what it gets down to, and I've said this all along, I just had this shitty little vlog and I enjoy filming and posting something every day, provided that I can. When I can't, it kind of bugs me, but I'm not going to beat myself up over it because, you know, life and truth, sometimes you just can't do it. But I am going to continue doing it going forward. And, you know, what happens happens as far as like, oh, if I get any gigs from it, I'm not trying to get gigs. So I'm not actually thinking that I'm ever going to get gigs is when it comes to like filming and all that kind of stuff. For photography, I got the best compliment that I could possibly get for my photography. I'm not saying that I don't get complimented on it regularly, but if you had followed me at all, I don't really ever know what to get my father for Christmas or anything like that. Long story short, I ended up printing out one of my bird pictures in 13 by 19 and I framed it and I sent it home for Christmas and he absolutely loved it. He couldn't stop talking about how much he loved it and how he was so impressed that his son had so much talent and that that picture, like he said, I needed to quit my day job and start becoming a wildlife photographer. If nothing else ever happened, if I got another accolade, that's enough for me. That's all I need. I don't need to sell my pictures. I don't need to be in a magazine. I don't need to have any of that shit. I don't care about that. It's nice to be admired for my skills and for the pictures that I take, and, and I hope people like them when I post them. But you know what? If nobody else ever said anything to me ever, I don't care because that was the biggest compliment I could have ever gotten from my father. And all that being said, I'm not going to give up my pursuit of, you know, trying to always find a better flow. And that's not me always looking for greener grass. I haven't ever found the perfect combination of everything that works exactly the way that I want it to. And that's the way that it is right now. I love my A7R4. I love that 200 to 600. I like the Sigma 24 to 70 if I decide to use it. I absolutely love the Sigma 105 f1.4. That's why I'm keeping those lenses. And of course, I really like my Sony 20 millimeter f1.8. That's the one that has lived on the a7C to do all of my vlogging and all of my filming. Even then, even though I really love that camera and that camera lens combination, it has its drawbacks. The two biggest things that have been the drawbacks of that camera is the lack of reliable stabilization and the focus breathing. You've seen me freak out and, and rant about how I hate that pulsing, that focus breathing. Drives me friggin' crazy. That's why I stopped using the 16 to 35. I couldn't get that damn thing to stop pulsing for the life of me unless I put the manual focus on. That defeats the purpose of buying a Sony camera system because of the autofocus. While it is a solution, it is not a viable solution that I intend to use on a regular basis. What camera has come along that has eliminated both of those things? The Sony a7 IV. It's got focus breathing compensation and active stabilization. I have been shooting in 4K for a few months now, 
and that was just off of a whim. I decided I wanted to try something and I just never turned it off of 4K. The biggest thing that I was trying to test was how it worked with the MacBook Air M1 that I got. Since that computer handles anything that I've ever thrown at it with absolutely no problems whatsoever, that's why I started shooting in 4K. Also because I decided that I wasn't going to keep any footage or movies or anything associated with the vlogs that I post on a daily basis after I post the vlog. Once that video goes up on YouTube, I delete everything. I delete all the footage, the thumbnails, the, the actual movie file, the backups, everything that goes on that computer because I have so many external hard drives filled with footage that I've never looked at again. And some of it is just shit footage or shit pictures that I never look at. And I thought, why the hell am I buying all these hard drives and wasting all that money and all this space buying all these things when I don't even ever look at it again? Especially after I post a video, what do I need to go back for it for? I'm not gonna reshoot it. I'm not gonna re-edit it. It's up, it's done. That hands down basically changed my flow, getting that MacBook Air M1. Getting the A7 IV would be, hmm, I'd have another full frame camera that would work with the lenses that I'm keeping. And because it would then replace the A7C as my filming camera, it will then eliminate the two biggest things that I don't have. And that's decent stabilization and it'll eliminate the focus breathing. What does that mean? It means I'm buying the A7 IV. In, in a few weeks, I'm going to get that camera. And then I'm gonna sell these two ZV-1s, the other lenses and all that shit. And I may be tempted to sell the A7C, although it is a fantastic like street photography, everyday photography camera that, that I actually really enjoy using as a street photography camera. I have talked about this extensively every day for the past week. And I eliminated that from every video. Given today that I decided not to use any of that footage, that's what I wanted to talk about. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave it down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.